Greetings everyone, welcome to another video. As you can see, my NVR is dead. This is a, I say a known issue. Uh, it is becoming a known issue on the uh, Unify NVRs. Um, predominantly on the earlier ones, which mine is. So, uh, this is normally caused due to the fact that the internal storage that runs protect on these is run off of an internal USB pen and the pen has died so uh, what we're gonna do I'm gonna pull it out my rack I'm gonna strip it down and we're gonna give it a look and see what it takes to fix this because this is gonna be something that is gonna be becoming more apparent as more of these units start to age so let's get this out of the rack and one Unify NVR on the desk ready to be uh, fixed uh, for those who don't know this is the actual unify nvr for their protect series range of cctv cameras uh, this is a four bay nvr uh, there's two versions effectively of this product available this is the nvr there's the nvr pro which is a seven bay not eight seven pretty sure um, which is twice the height obviously more hard disks in it uh, this is so that you can have a raid array of the hard disks. I've got three, uh, as you can see, Western Digital Greens in here, mainly because this is my own unit. This does all sorts of, this is what I use for testing on. So I have got three Western Dig two terabyte greens in here, uh, all courtesy of Apple time capsules that have been upgraded over the years. But the drive's worked, and that's all I need them for. So to answer some people's questions, actually. That's what you can run in here. You can run any hard disk in these. Um, this unit is a 1U NVR product there. So on the back, we've got power, got a couple of fans. We've got an SFP plus port, uh, one gig uh, network port, and the RPS port for redundant power. Uh, this, switch over to this port, is a... Uh, SFP plus only port at the moment as it stands today uh, where are we middle of April 2022 they haven't enabled it that you can down speed this port to a gigabit it's only a 10 gig port which is a bit frustrating at times because that means you have to have a 10 gig switch which I don't have a 10 gig switch handy at the moment so anyway uh, as I showed when we started the uh, Light is going ballistic, so what I'm going to do is whiz the top off, take the screws off, screws off along the back, whiz the top off and we'll have a look for the uh, USB drive that's in here and see if we can sort swapping it out. Now it goes without saying that this will obviously invalidate your warranty. So do excuse the hands in the way, people, but just making sure we get it out. There we go. And that should, and that should be every screw undone. So let's see if we can get the uh, back off this unit. I may have to put you down and pop the lid off. And this is the inside of the 
Unifying VR. And this is the offending item. This is the USB pen that is glued down, which we will have to unstick and pop out. But this is what has failed. But while we're in it, let's just have a quick look round. We've got the SFP port, gigabit port, RPS connector, some fans. Obviously, CPU is hiding under there. Got the back end of the drives plugged in there. So what I'm going to do is work that loose. I may have to get something out just to melt the glue. So maybe you have to get a bit of heat on that to uh, thing it. But we'll uh, get that USB pen swapped over and see what happens. One USB pen. Just a very, very basic generic USB pen. Now, I believe on the later versions of this, they swapped this out and got rid of the USB pen and actually put in a, I say effectively, a, a micro SSD. So hopefully this won't impact too many units. But for those it does, if you get the flashy light of doom, this is what you need to swap. So actually, I'm going to go and plug this into a PC to see what exactly is wrong with it. Well, that pen is definitely dead. Checked it. So... Spare pen, um, something that appears to be quite critical. Get a decent USB pen if you're doing this. The cheap Amazon specials uh, seem to cause more problems with these than it's worth. So just make sure it's a decent one. This is an integral, um, but Samsung, SanDisk, anything with a decent make, make sure it's a genuine one. And then literally, all we're doing is slotting it in place of the old one, like so. And let's plug back in. All lined up ready. And wait for it to boot. And what it should do is boot back up. Obviously any configuration will be lost. And what you should also do after doing this is do a factory reset and restore from backup. So we'll just make sure that all the hard disks spin up. One, two, three. Make sure we don't get any funky lights. This pen doesn't have any uh, disk activity lights, so nothing going on there. But this is now going to boot up. I'm going to put the lid back on and carry on setting it up again um, but uh, yes it is a known issue with these uh, it's the earlier models generally uh, the later models do have a internal basically an ESSD in them and uh, yes yeah, this is the effectively the easy fix save sending it back to ubiquity because at the moment with all the stock fun there's no guarantee that you'll get a replacement anytime soon uh, just make sure that you've got your backups set up. The uh, backups for these, I believe, are coming to cloud soon. So worth keeping an eye out on that if you use the remote access side of things. And many thanks to everyone who has spent the time and already worked out that those pens are a waste of time. And that's the easy fix. So thank you to everyone in the forums. Uh, if you do need help with any Ubiquiti equipment... Uh, Ubiquity community forums always worth checking out as well as the Facebook groups just uh, yeah come on in join and ask the questions you'll find plenty of us there answering them uh, in various shape sizes and... but uh, until next time thank you for watching please feel free to give this video a like always appreciated uh, subscribe working my way up to the uh, next point on subscribers and obviously comment down below um we assemble i say assemble support configure maintain ubiquity equipment all over the uk so uh, feel free to get in touch if you are in need of equipment in the uk being consulted upon etc etc many thanks catch you again soon